Finn is there, and Chris Ward centre backs. Uh, Alex started right back. Dan H left back. Uh, Mark, if you start on the right wing. Kevin left wing. Yeah. Michael okay. defensive midfielder. Yeah? yeah. You start defensive midfield, just sitting back a bit, and then Priest and Sam, you just in front of him. Priest, if you yeah. sit back a bit, just to start with, just to help out, and Delroy yeah. up front to start with. Welcome to this Reality FC friendly as they take on FC Assyria this evening. It is Thursday evening, it's a little overcast and time is ticking on, it's getting dark already. Delroy Brown makes his debut for Reality FC as does Kevin James and Mike Iyaku. Mike Iyaku will take the holding row in midfield and Delroy Brown up front with Kevin James at left midfield. All three players are in serious contract talks with manager Anthony Cox. All three players did feature for White Hart last week. However, Phil Bugs has gone to White Hart and they've kindly, it seems, maybe they don't even know yet, have given us three of their players in return. Mike Iyuku there on the ball to Dave Priest, who brings the ball forward. Plays into Sam Bedina. Reality FC keeping the ball very well early on here. Not under a lot of pressure from the strike force of Assyria. The number nine is doing his best slowly there. It's Chris Ward out to Alex Sestaro, playing only his second game for Reality as Mark Colley in front of him plays his third game for Reality FC. John Finn with that goal kick. Ball goes along here. There's a few defenders and Delroy Brown makes his way through and he's hit that and he's swerved into the goal an early lead for reality fc it was a good hit from delroy brown looking to impress manager anthony cox and congratulated by his teammate kevin james good finish from him on the outside of his boots first ever person i believe to score on their debut for reality fc it's the syria goalkeeper hopefully recovered didn't really see much of him in that goal there's a yaku into John Finn has come forward, back to Iyaku, plays it forward to Kevin James who does a good turn, he looks to go past his man, can he deliver the ball in, cuts inside across to Iyaku who hits that shot but it's over the bar from him. It's a good start from reality, dominating proceedings at the moment, Chris Ward with the header to Priest, to Sistaro. Oh, the ball finds its way to Sam Bedin, who loses the ball. Now it's Assyria who come through the middle of midfield. Priest with the header. It's back with reality. Budina into Brown, who's tackled. The ball comes forward now, Assyria. It's 14, back to the fullback. Oh, well won back by Dan Huppen, who came in quickly. Delroy Brown, good one too. Can Dan Huppen pick a ball out? It's good ball up to Mark Colley who's waiting for it and the defender wasn't even watching the ball but he's got it back and the referee looks like he's given a free kick which is taken quickly by FC Assyria. A few reality players not back in position yet and here comes the number nine against John Finn. Looks to cut into his right, puts the ball in and it's just wide of the goal. Del Delroy Brown with the throw to Sistaro. To Mark Colley, who's tackled by the number 10, but wins it back. To Staro, who was putting trouble there, and he's number 10's gone past John Finn. Priest comes in, little ball into the number nine, who puts an interesting ball up high, and John Finn and Priest are there, and they do enough. No, they don't, and it's a good save from Alex Lapointe in goal. It's a substitution by manager Anthony Cox. It's Joe Bennett who comes on. I won't be able to keep you up to date of all the substitutions today because it's roll on and roll off substitutes and they'll be happening all over the place. Here's the number 10 bringing the ball away from Mark Colley. It's a good ball into the striker and it falls to 14 but Priest is there to Kevin James. Plays the ball up but it's intercepted. 
Back with that number 10, nice back here on the ball, right, goes through the middle for the number 9, good well, challenge from the captain Chris Ward yeah. as he goes to the ground, free kick to Assyria, Let's have it. ball goes up high, it's good over ball. John Finn, the play yeah. goes in behind, good save from Alex Lapointe, yeah. corner ball for Assyria as the first half is coming to an end, Ball goes into the near post, it goes to the back post and it rolls in, it's the equaliser against the run of play. And Assyria have got the equaliser just before half time. Fellas, let's be honest, that was pretty poor the second part of that half. It, it's blatantly obvious there, they're, they're not a brilliant team and for the first 15-20 minutes we're absolutely all over them. Should have put them to the sword a bit more. Good goal, and a goal, well played. But we just, you've got to mark your men at corners. We can't be, things like that's going to cost us in the league. You know, conceding goals like that. We should be winning this sort of game 3 or 4 nil. Goal, it's absolute bollocks, isn't it? I mean, the corner itself, he's pinged the ball 50 yards. We haven't, we haven't been able to take 10 steps back and head the ball away. From the corner, if you're on the post, that's your job. Mark, if you're on there one time, you're there all of the time, yeah? That's the first we need. People on the post, mark a man. Basics. Boys, these, these lot ain't any good. They're giving us so much time on the ball, it's just, we're slowing the pace down, we're just knocking it around like that. It's quicking it up, let's not play the game at their pace, let's play at our pace. Step it up a bit, let's ramp it, they won't be able to live with us. If we step it up a couple of gears, we're playing to their tempo. Should have started myself. They're not that bad. <laughs> 32, we're playing football. God knows how long we've been playing football for. Uh, been playing with Delroy and Mikey for the last nine years together. Didn't play last season, 11 aside. Been playing a lot of five aside though. Um, yes, this is my one of my first competitive games in about four or five years. And uh, who did you previously play for, just so we can have it on uh, GSK. And uh, who were you playing for the other week? Uh, White, White Hart. We lost. Oh, we beat you. Yeah, but we've now poached you, so. Yes, you have. Sure have. I quite enjoy it. I've actually watched all the videos, the majority of them. So, uh, decent team. So the second half is kicked off with FC Assyria. It's the number 10, plays a long ball forward there and Chris Ward is there and Anthony Cox as well, who's coming up right back to Lee Banasane, who's now right midfield for reality. Yiku under pressure, but pushes the pressure away. A nice ball back to Anthony Cox who turns, plays a ball right across his goal. John Finn's put them in trouble as the ball comes through the middle. Number nine's through here. What can he do? Oh, it's a good tackle from Anthony Cox. Throwing Dan Huppin to Budina. Dan Huppin appears to have a license to come forward in this game from left back. The ball in there. Delroy Brown is tackled and the ball is cleared away. Yuku leaves that for the number nine. Strong challenge from Ward, but nine still got it. And then the ball through the middle, number 12 goes through, and John Finn and Anthony Cox deal with it comfortably, I'm sure. And the ball goes out for a throw. It's the kick from a serial goalkeeper. Didn't look too comfortable with that kick, but Dan Huppin looks more comfortable as he plays the ball up high to Budina. Up in the air, oh, it's a strong bicycle kick into the head of the defender. And he's not at all happy, and who can blame him? I wouldn't like a bicycle kick in my face either. Number 10, under pressure by from Priest and Huppin. And Bennett. And Lee Banasain is there as well. Number 3 brings it across. Got a bit of time in there, number 18, to turn. Oh, it's a strong challenge, and the shot comes in. And over the bar, Priest, who's come on now in midfield to Huppin. Back to Huppin. He's tackled, and the ball is cleared by the Syria defender. And that's a long ball through. Oh, and it's a strong challenge from Chris Ward. He points to the ball as the player probably points to his leg. The ball now with Lee Banasay, who's just pushed off the ball. Then it comes in with a challenge, but it's with the number 12, and that's the referee blowing for half full time as Reality FC draw 1 1 with FC Assyria.
Their number 10 controlled the game, the captain, and by far their best player. Um, maybe partly my fault, but we didn't see it early enough that he should have been the man to mark. Um, obviously the game was reduced a bit in the second half due to the fading light that's going to happen when we're getting into September. Um, yeah, a bit disappointing really, I think we should have won. Pretty average, we attacked pretty well, but we held up line, but we didn't. Yeah. Finished one all at the end of the day, so... What do you think, Mohamed? It was uh, some slow game, but yeah, like you said, it was pretty average. We didn't really push through, and we conceded a really bad goal from the uh, back post. Yeah, and I think we could be, we could have done better. Actually. Any positives to take from today? Positives to take. There was a few new people that joined today, and a few of them looked bright and obviously full of potential. Uh, I think his name's Mike as well, number six, he was playing for us in the midfield. He had a really good game, really strong attacking presence. Got back as well and helped defend the team. Uh, I thought he had a really good, well, debut, yeah. And hopefully a sign-off for the rest of the season. The new striker was good as well. Brilliant.